Blankets and stuffed animals give children comfort. But for one special West Michigan girl who has already had a lifetime of visits to the hospital, her blanket has been with her from the start. 13 on your side's Elena Holland shows us what happened when that blanket went missing this week. It's the first time we could hold you. When Riley Jo was born 12 years ago. This is daddy's ring on your arm. She weighed only one pound and two ounces. We spent 133 days in the NICU. Mom Kathy Jo Peltier developed a life-threatening condition during pregnancy, and Riley Jo was born at 23 weeks and four days. It was a journey that changed us. After she was born, a family friend gave tiny Riley Jo a sense of security in the NICU, a brown and pink little blanket. I think it was more a comfort for her and I. That blanket helped give super strength to Riley Jo, who soon defied all of her doctor's expectations. She had a 5% chance of surviving and she basically beat all odds. Again and again, Riley Jo continued to beat the odds, living with ongoing medical conditions as a result of her early start to life. And her blanket was right there along with her. It goes with her everywhere to procedures, ER visits, doctor visits. It's like part of her life. Monday, the family spent 15 hours at Helen DeVos Hospital. And when they got home, Riley Jo was upset and held up another blanket for her mom. I'm like, you mean you're brown and pink? I'm like, did you lose it? And she said, yes. I'm like, okay, do you know where? And she said, she said, ER, ER. She contacted the hospital, nothing in lost and found. So Kathy Jo took a chance and made a post on Facebook. I knew that it really bothered her. Meanwhile, a ped surgery nurse at the hospital, Courtney LeClaire, noticed a small brown and pink blanket at the nurse's station Tuesday. She didn't think much of it until she saw the post online. And as soon as I saw the little taggy at the bottom, she had attached some pictures. I knew that that was the one I had seen at the hospital. She picked up the blanket and contacted Riley Joe's family and arranged for her parents, who lived nearby, to drop it off the next day. Working at the Children's Hospital, almost all of our patients come to the hospital with some kind of stuffed animal or blanket. Um, we know how important they are to the kids. Mom and dad did not tell Riley Joe yet that her blanket was on its way until there was a knock at the door. Are you happy? Yeah. What is that? Baby? Your blanket. I just think it's so amazing that so many people were so caring and and went out of their way and, and looked around the hospital. And just like Riley Jo has beaten the odds countless times in her young life. I feel so blessed and so excited. The missing blanket, thought to be gone forever, found its way back home. Her support is back. Elena Holland. Thank you so much. 13 on your side.